Hello everybody, in this video we'll be working on how to use Amazon Music and for this video we'll be using an iPhone XS. So we'll be experiencing the Amazon Music for iPhone app. So let's open it up. Well before then, we'll see this app suggestion from Siri because I've just connected my Bluetooth AirPods. So let's open it up. Immediately we'll see our home page and we'll see the sound that we were last playing, whether it's a podcast or music. Perfect. Then we can see some other things for it, like add to my music. And if you don't know what my music is, let's figure it out. Let's add it. And my music is will be found in the library page. You'll see all these great um, playlists, artists, and we can see just our individual songs. That's just great. Let's move on. We'll go back to our homepage. So we'll see our soundtrack based on the songs that we've been listening to. And it's a station. We'll see recommendations based on our recent songs, our frequent plays, and more like our favorite artist. Depending on the month, you'll see different spotlights, like strong black voices, because it's February this month. We'll see Black History Month things. Perfect. We'll see recommended albums in Unlimited. If you're wondering what Unlimited is, Unlimited is a paid for version of Amazon Music. It depends on the month, but it's $10.99 a month sometimes and $9.99 a month sometimes. Right now, I'm using the free version of Amazon Music because my family has a Prime account and Amazon Music is included with Prime. So that's great. You can see all of your recommended albums. And let's see live. Some artists that are live streaming their favorite music. We can see pop rock and all of our favorite genres. Feel good music, top stations, and you can just scroll endlessly seeing all of these playlists, stations, albums, featured this week, and it's ever changing. Wow, that's great. Let's f look at the find section. This has been updated in Amazon Music so many times. We can see artists, podcasts, songs, playlists, everything. So let's search some cold play. And we can see a variety of search results. First, our top results. And then we can see the artists, albums, songs, and even playlists, and then stations. And then even after that, a new feature, podcasts, podcast episodes. That's perfect. And you can filter our search results just like that. Only my music, those are the only filters that we can put on right now. Perfect. Let's go back. We can search for anything that we want. And that we've made that pretty clear. There's a little clear button to clear your search history right there. Now let's look at these many genres that are on Amazon Music. We can see live stations like we saw on our homepage. We can see all of these different genres like podcasts, rock, pop, country, and all these sounds are there. We can see our playlists when we click on pop, explore, and top songs. That's awesome. Let's continue. So, when we're playing a song, let's play this song right now. And then let's pause it. You can click on certain songs and see all these amazing lyrics. That's just great. And when you click on lyrics, it will go right to that lyric in the song. And you can scroll through it endlessly until the song is done. We can see some many different controls here, like replaying the song when it's done, shuffling, which is what's on right now, and our play button and our back and forward buttons. We can see x-rays for fun trivia about this. So we can see, wow, lots of cool facts that you didn't know about your song. Right now, we're casting this to this AirPods, but you can also cast it to your favorite TVs. That's great. And you can share your favorite songs with your friends. Let's see some other options. We can, it's already in our music. We can download the song to listen to it when we're offline. We can add to a playlist. So let's create a playlist. We have lots of different playlists that are right here that my family uses. So let's create a new playlist. We can enter the playlist name and then let's see what some of our playlists looks like. Let's go to our library and let's see our playlists. Music, playlists, and let's see what we have. 
This is one for my birthday. <laughs> Lots of my favorite kids' bop songs. And we can see them all right here. We can edit our playlist. We can download all the songs. And all these other features that are right here. Let's see, Alexa. So, you can enable Alexa, which is basically like a Siri. So, that is your choice. I don't have it turned on right now because that means that Alexa is always listening for my voice. And I don't feel comfortable with that. You can click on podcasts to see some of your favorite podcasts. I have never seen any of these, but it looks like some of my family members have. You can see some shows downloaded. Wow, that's awesome. Let's see some of our settings. These are our basic settings. We can see offline mode. It's connected to Bluetooth right now. My profile is something that we won't be clicking on today because it violates iHelp's privacy. And we can see our settings. We can see our help and contact customer support. Okay. Perfect. Let's see the rest of our music. Perfect. So let's go to notifications. We can see our notifications from Amazon Music, like our playlist that they made for us. Year in review. Wow. All of our favorite songs from 2020. That's great. And those are some of our Amazon Music basics. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for joining us. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.